by with his drink when I took like an hour and a half trying to find parking for this place. I saw him up there. I was like, yo, help me. Please. Right. And now we're going to... And Iman uh, playing Krom. Interesting. This. I mean, we were watching Roy, and now we're watching Krom. Characters are actually significantly different. Like, it's almost... They're so different that it's really weird to call them Echo Fighters mm -hmm. because, man, like, they play completely differently. You have to fight them differently. Like, you're going to see them go for different things. It, it's actually kind of triggering when people kind of, like, try to liken Krom to Roy to me. It's very, very different. They are definitely some of the most different Echo Fighters. Less, like, you know... Ryu and Ken, I guess, even though they even do like some very similar stuff. There you go. And Alan taking full advantage of one of the, the biggest differences between Roy and Krom is that, that his up B is obviously his up B is like Ike's up B. And so you can hit him at the top of the move. He has invincibility on the way up when he starts to move, but once he reaches the apex and grabs that sword, Palutena is like, yo, I got an invincible back air. You're going to hold that. Palutena bread and butters into Oof. relentless pressure by the ledge. That's a dead oh, one. Yep. Lord. Still stuck in the air dodge lag. Didn't even need to hang up for that counter. Before the set even started, I was worried. I'd be like, ooh, Krom, upbeat, Palutena counter, body bag. Didn't happen yet. Did, you just don't even need the counter. Way. You don't even need the counter. That's what I'm saying, my dude. My guy has the directional air dodge. I mean, you have to use Krom's, like, good air drift. But, man, he just doesn't have a lot of options in that scenario. Yeah. Every Krom player I know has, like, some kind of counter pick for this matchup. This is not a fun matchup for Krom. Oh. So, let's see. Iman uh, finally, uh, you know, in advantage here. Let's see if we can get a lot out of it. But, nope. There you Gen go. Tendo. Jen going for those reads again when he knows that he doesn't have something true. And that is one thing that I really wish more Palus do. And he's one of the only ones I see really does it. Palutena's down air is amazing on stage. The lack of being able to tech grounded spikes in this game, that sets up perfectly for combos. Not just into itself, into a back air. Sometimes if you want to get a little risky with it, even a grab is the back air. That is a three right. stock on the part of uh, Jonathan Tendos. Just speed ran Fire Emblem Awakening any percent right there, man. Yeah, man. I mean, dude. I mean, that was he's a speed run, dude. Playing the 3DS, man. He's used to playing those 3DS games. He's got this power out there. Look at that. Ugh, God, caught him with the uh, back on the way people, up. Too many people. Well, first of all, one of the mistakes that uh, Iman made there yeah, is that he, he didn't... There's a way to go lower and perfectly line up Krom's up E where Palutena can't counter it. Mm -hmm. And, no, you know, it's very hard for characters to hit that. He went and did it a little too high, so it, it, it gave Jen all that time to go, oh, you're going to be up here? All right, great. I get a free stock. Yep. So, Iman getting punished there for that, and then directional air dodging. If someone directional air dodges and you don't go off stage and hit them, you're not playing ultimate in 2021. Uh, People should be dying for doing a directional air dodge in the magnifying glass. It looks like they're far away. But you can get there. I couldn't agree with that more if I tried, man. Some characters... Oh, God, he's dead. He's dead. No, actually, air dodging up and around, like you said. Wasn't able to punish it that time, actually, because he caught him drifting away because uh, Jen did not want to lose stage control on top of everything else. Didn't want to commit too hard off the level against Iman, I guess. And there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Those rising downers. It's such. It's actually such a good underrated out of shield option for Palutena, my yeah, friends. Like I said, sets up good for combos. It's got a big hitbox. It's got a very strong hitbox as well. Does a lot of good damage as well. Man, right, Iman, Iman doing here. a lot better on this on this game here. He's in control right now. Oh, giving kind of weird to go all the way back there. You know, he had he had Jen at the ledge, and like Krom is amazing at ledge trapping. That's like one of his strong suits. Yeah. So kind of letting getting letting Jen get off the ledge there for free, and then losing a stock for it. Magic, yay to see it. There you go. There's an explosive flame. Ooh, going for some super schmixy stuff right there. Getting the weak hits of the drag down up air right there. Not able to get the grab off of it that he wanted, but he is still holding firmly on to this first stock. Trading with that Nair one. Finally getting an up out of shield for his trouble is Iman. Yeah, that's, a, that's another really important thing about competing is like, you don't want to miss opportunities like that to, to hard punish moves on block because you need your opponent to start going, wait, 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 I can't, I can't do that. And once you start making them think about what they can and can't do, it becomes a lot easier to get in their head and, and play the game. But, you know, Alan, I feel like Alan's just like, I, I feel like Jen is just, he gotten away with a lot so far, so he doesn't care. He's just like, yeah, whatever, I'll do whatever I want. Swinging for the fences with that forward smash, too. You want to talk about doing what he wants, getting a little greedy with it right now. Now you, now you see him just going for it. Now I'm convinced that they can hear us because I was talking about that downer so much. Now he's just swinging for the fences over and over. That's the thing, man. Especially after Palutena's nerfed those last couple of patches, sometimes like those, sometimes those grab combos. Oh, Ooh, getting caught in the right. drag down, actually. Again, wow. trying to, he's listening to the stream. He's making me shut up. He was like, you know what? I recovered high on purpose to get that suicide up B. And this time, he, he and he got it this time without having to sacrifice his own stock. Yeah. Still was able to snap the ledge. But it might... 
I don't know if that's enough. I mean, gotta be he's, careful, he's man. just one or two more hits away from death. He's going to get thrown off stage. Is this Allen? These platforms, Doesn't I'm not going to lie. That was really good on Jen because before he recognized, he recognized what was happening. Those platforms are actually stopping him from getting those back airs. First game, the way he was able to seal out that game is because he was able to get that back air on Krom's up on the way to the top. Yeah. Very low-level mistake is that they don't hit Krom for that. That's got no hitbox on the way up, yeah. only on the way down. Palutena's got that invincible back air to stuff it out. What happened a couple of times this game is that he went high enough just at that perfect height to the point where he couldn't get that back air because the platform was actually in the way. Now, that time was different. You saw him actually go for the teleport cancel instead off of the level to right. make sure he was at the perfect little right. height that he was actually able to get at that time. My man Allen wants a back air. He's going to find it. Oh, yeah. He's going to find that back air. And it's, again, it's an invincible move. It's like you literally there's no reason for you not to throw it out because there's no way you're getting, you're trading. Absolutely no way you're trading.